In Artlantis, a texture is represented by an image that is imported onto a shader. You can map one or more textures on the same shader and edit the properties independently for each one. Select the texture in the preview window and the settings will instantly appear in the shader inspector. In the lower part of the palette, you can adjust the size of the mapped texture either by entering numerical values or by setting it graphically with this slider. Also, there are settings for tailing, mirroring, or spacing, and with the help of this list, you can adjust the image to the surface by choosing the appropriate projection. In the upper part of the palette, you can edit the image itself. The bump gives excellent results for grayscale images like this one, and by setting the transparency, you can convert it into a bump map for a shader. In the list of materials, textures always appear as a sub-item to the shader on which they are mapped. To delete them, just select it and click on the delete sign in the upper side of the drawer. New textures can be mapped with a simple drag and drop directly from the catalog or from an external folder from your hard drive. After we drop the texture in the preview, we can start to adjust its settings highlighted in the inspector. To position the texture, just grab it from its anchor point in the preview window and move it. In addition to the reflection and shininess, we can also set the ambient parameter. By changing this slider, we can light up the image and make it more bright. A second texture can be applied with the same ease. Once mapped, the settings are instantly highlighted so we can rotate it, for example. If the image contains an alpha channel, we can activate it by checking the appropriate checkbox in the inspector. Now it can be used as a real frame for the previous image. The new textures are listed beneath their shader on which they were mapped. By reorganizing their order in the list, textures can be sent to the back or brought to the front. They can be grouped, too, by dragging the name of a texture into the other one. Once grouped, you can organize them at the same time and move them together, for example. To make them overlap correctly, just right-click on the texture's name in the list of materials and choose Merge Texture Origin. Select from the list the point you wish to merge. In our case, it's that of the center. Managing textures in Atlantis is easy. Check it out!